morning, everyone. Can you hear me? Good. Wednesday from home today. Okay. Welcome to my home, and I hope you're you're adjusting to this um, quarantine with peace and serenity, accepting what we have in our hands and making the best out of it. Um, takes an effort, but here we are again together, and I love being with you. As usual, I prepare a parable point. Today is a very special day in history, and I wanted to capture that with some pictures. Um, so bear with me as I open up this PowerPoint. Um, May 13 is a very special day. Our Lady of Fatima appeared to three people, three young people, and he chose very simple people, okay? Hopefully you will see the PowerPoint as we move along, or otherwise I'll get a text saying we cannot see the PowerPoint somehow. Um, so here we are, May 13, 1917. Our lady decided to meet three little children in Portugal and ask them to pray for peace. And it was a very interesting apparition because people did not believe that these little children, very simple, uneducated children who were with their sheep could have seen Our Lady. Eventually Our Lady decided to reappear every 13th of the month. And there was an apparition in October where the suns seemed to be um, like a wheel of fire turning around and it was seen by many people. So eventually people decided that yes, there's something special going on here, Our Lady of Fatima. And she prayed us, she asked us to pray the rosary for peace. And then another May 13th, 1940, Winston Churchill was facing the House of Commons for the first time and said, I have nothing to offer but blood, toil, tears, and sweat. And I decided to include that because with these days, we have something more to offer. We have the blood, the toil, the tears, and sweat, but we also have the grace of God with us. And so I wish we can offer that serenity to others, but first we need to have it ourselves. Another May 13th, someone tried to kill John Paul II, who barely survived, and he is convinced, he was convinced that it was Our Lady who prevented that bullet from killing him. He forgave the person who shot him later on, but um, it's another miracle of Our Lady. So our prayer today is something that I got from um, Pope Francis. So in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, amen. Blessed Virgin Mary of Fatima, with renewed gratitude for your motherly presence, we join in the voice of all generations that call you blessed. We celebrate in you the great works of God, who never tires of lowering himself in mercy over humanity, afflicted by evil and wounded by sin, to heal and to save it. Accept with the benevolence of a mother this act of entrustment that we make in faith today. Before this, your image beloved to us. We are certain that each one of us is precious in your eyes and that nothing in our hearts has estranged you. May we allow your sweet gaze to reach us and the perpetual warmth of your smile. Guard our life with your embrace. Bless and strengthen every desire for good Give new life and nourishment to faith. Sustain, enlighten hope, awaken and animate charity. Guide us all on the path to holiness. Teach us your own special love for the little and the poor, for the excluded and the suffering, for sinners and the wounded of heart. Gather all people under your protection and give us all to your beloved son, our Lord Jesus, amen.
In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Moving forward, all these you're going to get in a detailed email, but I wanted to tell you how we are moving to a virtual election for the Student Activities Council for all the offices, president, secretary, treasurer, class president, and class vice president. Chris Caniff, Mr. Caniff had to, has done an amazing job. He put together a um, schedule that will take into a, account your workload, students, APs, and everything that is going on. You can have access to these later on, but just to give you an idea, uh, start thinking about that today, Monday, submit some information to Mr. Caniff via email, and the rest of the week you have a whole list of events if you're interested in campaigning. Uh, the campaign speeches will be shared with the whole community. Wednesday the 27th, elections will take place on the 28th, and results will be shared on the 29th. More explanations, um, more detail, you, you'll get an email, it's on our website, but just for you to get thinking. The invitations for the National Honor Society virtual induction ceremony went out yesterday, and the event will be a virtual event, so the invitation has a Zoom link, uh, Thursday, 6 p.m., be ready. Friday, this is a fun week. We are going to finish the week with um, an amazing event that the arts, fine arts department has put together, satisfaction guaranteed. That um, You have a Zoom link there. Make sure you show up with your family. This, this is something that you will have so much fun and you will see the quality of the work our teachers and our students do. Um, Reminders, the course registration, it's open in the portal until Friday, May 15th at 9 p.m. Seniors, if you haven't made your appointment, pick a time, do it this week, last chance to get your gown. And homework, okay? I think it's very important for us to listen to Our Lady and the beauty of her words to pray the rosary especially today, if you can go for a walk, it's a beautiful day. And pray the rosary for serenity, joy, and peace in our hearts, in our families. And that is a message that is as relevant today as it was when she first appeared to the, those three little children. And so my wish to you is peace, happiness, and entrust your worries to Our Lady, for Lord and have confidence that um, we will be fine, okay? And learn a lot from these. There is a lot to learn. If you have any questions, you know how to reach us, but um, put your heart and love in everything you do today and you, satisfaction guaranteed, okay? Take care, my friends.